Hello everyone, Retro Rewind here. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at a slightly different type of video uh, because I just got a PlayStation Pro and uh, I have an LG OLED TV. But uh, when I connected it, I got an error and it said HDR not supported. Well, that kind of made me a little mad and I'm like well why isn't it supported so I started digging around the forums and I found a fix so if you are running into the problem with HDR not supported I will tell you how to fix it uh, now this will be for the LG but it's probably somewhat similar for the uh, Samsung or Vizio whatever uh, model or brand TV that you have uh, this here is a 65 inch LG OLED TV uh, with the PlayStation Pro. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to check if you're running in true 2K or 4K mode. Uh, so what you're going to do, I'm actually going to be on the video. I'm going to apologize if I've been down in front of the video a few times. I'm just trying to uh, get it set up and show you the steps needed in order to fix this problem. So. The first thing I'm going to do is I got my controller in hand and uh, you go up to the top, go to the settings right here, this little uh, toolbox, and you hit the X button. And way down here at the bottom, you'll see one that says sound and screen. Then we're going to go right here to video output settings. As you see, you've got several settings right here. Uh, resolution, you've got several settings over to the right, 720, 1080, 1080p, 2160. You can go ahead and leave that at automatic. You should be fine with that. You want to set your TV size to whatever TV size that you have. Uh, HDR, when you click it, you're going to have automatic or off. There is no way to force it on. So you're just going to leave it at automatic, and what that'll do is, it, once it has been set up in your TV, which I'll show you, it will automatically switch over to your HDR mode. I mean, if you're going to pay the extra you know, $400 for a PlayStation Pro, and you're going to fork out all the money for a 4K TV, you want to have it maximized. So, right down here at the very bottom, Video Output Information. And when I click on that, you see my resolution... 3840 by 2160 uh, color format and HDR on your TV not supported the other thing you're going to look at is down there at the bottom HDCP 1.4 now I'm going to show you how to fix this and I really do hope they come out with a fix for it pretty soon uh, they being Sony because the first thing is you're going to have, if you have a uh, PlayStation VR, which is brand new, just released, what, a few months ago, and guess what? Not HDR compatible. So, the first thing that you're going to want to do, and I'm going to go ahead and do it for you, you have a, your... PlayStation VR box right here. In the back of your PlayStation VR box there are two HDMI ports. One's an input, one's an output. So what you're going to do is the HDMI cable that came with your PlayStation Pro, you're going to hook that up. So disconnect any HDMI cable that you have currently hooked up to your PlayStation Pro and you're going to hook up your HDMI cable that came with the PlayStation. And then you're going to bypass the PlayStation VR. Reason being, the PlayStation VR will not pass through your HDR. I know, brand new but it does not pass your HDR. So if you want to get that true 4K picture, you're going to have to bypass the PlayStation VR. Now Sony did, uh, in some of the forums, they commented, hey, there's going to be an update coming. 
you will be able to use it in the future, but for now, I'm going to show you the way to do it to get it working without the PlayStation VR. Once they fix it, we should be okay. So you're going to hook your new HDMI cable that you just got with your PlayStation to your PlayStation, and then you're going to plug it into any of the HDMI ports that are on the back or side of your TV. So for this one, I'm just going to plug it into HDMI 3. Okay, so that's HDMI 3, and you see that it popped up. I have built a uh, streaming box because that's the one I stream off of. Well, wait a minute. See, it's not working. HDR on your TV. Well, that's because you actually have to go into the menu and turn on the HDR for the HDMI channels. So you're going to grab your TV remote and you're going to go into the settings down here where it says all settings. Oh, let me show you something else. So I thought, first of all, when you go into settings and over here it says picture mode. See, mine says HDR effect. So I'm like, well, HDR is on. HDR is working. But I was wrong. So if you exit, you go back into your menu, go down to all settings. Over here on the left side, go to general. And then you're going to scroll down to right here, HDMI Ultra HD Deep Color. And as you see over to the right, it says 4K at 60 Hertz. So we're going to go into this menu and look, HDMI 1, 2, and 3. Now I had already turned it on for HDMI 1, but for the purpose of this video, I wanted to leave it off. So what you do is you highlight your HDMI 3 and put the little check to on. And the first thing that's going to pop up is restart your TV in order for uh, the settings to take effect. So I'll go down here to restart. And what it's doing is the, the uh, monitor TV is going to shut down and it'll come back on just like that. Then what you're going to want to do, as you see it still says not supported, is power cycle your or reset your PlayStation. So just grab your controller, press the PlayStation button, go to power, and then restart PS4. And what that'll do is that'll erase the settings that it had set and it'll automatically detect any new changes within your TV or the cables themselves. So we'll let that come back on. And first of all, I do want to give thanks to the people on the forums. Uh, I kind of pieced together a lot of people's uh, comments. And then I found a way to fix it. So I do want to give thanks to everybody that made comments. And if you like this video, you know, hey, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'd like to do more videos and help you out. Um, not all streaming videos, but some how-tos to actually fix it. So you boot back up to your screen, and then you're going to go back over to your toolbox. Go back into settings back down to sound and screen, video output settings, all the way down to video output information, there you go. Resolution 3840 by 2160, color format RGB, HDR on your TV, 2K slash 4K supported. And you'll notice the HDCP change from 1.4 to 2.2. So now your PlayStation Pro will be maximized for your TV. So you'll actually be bringing out the full potential of the Pro and your TV 
in your videos uh, in your gaming so like I was saying if this was very helpful to you please let me know please comment like uh, if you have a uh, an idea for me or another how-to video you'd like to see me do or a suggestion for me just let me know hey I like to hear from everybody uh, please check out our other videos uh, at youtube.com slash shop retro rewind uh, I do a, a twitch stream at twitch.tv slash shop retro rewind and uh, my streaming partner at twitch.tv slash Ina Fox. Thank you all for watching. I do hope this was helpful to you. Have a great night and enjoy your, uh, your HDR.